This is why I don't get involved. Get back inside. And we're back. We have more darkness to talk about. This is going to be a mostly combat heavy part because we have a lot of combat and a little bit of story. But right here, uh, I kind of walked past a fuse box there, which I probably should have shot, but instead I decided to kill lights that I don't really need to shoot. I was not going to be fighting in this area, but if you know you're going to be fighting in an area or falling back, it's a good idea to kill the lights you can so you can keep your darkness powers. We need to kill lights in this room, so we're fighting this room. Jackie has the car off. We know you're in there. Come out with your hands up and nobody gets her. Well, nobody anybody gives a shit about. He ain't coming out, Cap. I'm gonna call it resisting arrest. Get him out, boy. Well, this isn't gonna be good at all. When I uh, first beat this game, uh, this part here caused me a lot of trouble, so I remember this part pretty well. I know there's two more guys coming, and then I see the door open and start eating hearts instead. We got the shotgun, and it's useless. The shotgun is really only useful when you're uh, dealing a lot of close range to enemies and some other sections later on in the game where the shotgun's actually useful. But you can be mostly sticking with your pistols, uh, another weapon that we're getting in this chapter, which we'll talk about later, and uh, the final weapon, which is very, very useful. But yeah, we have a helicopter to deal with, and this helicopter is a bastard! Because you can imagine our pistols and our useless shotgun aren't very good <laughs> against it. We've also only got a single darkness power, and yeah, we're kind of boned when it comes to fighting a chapter, so we gotta play hide and seek with it. But yeah, you also once again notice I talk about the auto aim in this game. It can get you can turn it up to being pretty heavy. I have it set to decent, just because it makes this game a lot easier because this game does require a lot of precision, so it does help. It's also, uh, the auto is very good against lights, which I'll point out a little later on, where you see it will latch on to lights a lot quicker, so you can easily end lights in an area that you're fighting. But this is an area where, um, if you're really careful in the very beginning and you shoot all of the lights out, it makes this section a lot easier, but I decided to not do that and run around with a shotgun that kind of works. You can see, that guy got shot in the, in the goddamn chest with a shotgun. Is like, no, I'm cool. By the way, this is a normal difficulty, and uh, shotguns do a little more damage than that. Also, the quickest shotgun reloading ever. Kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Helicopter hurts. <laughs> Thank you, man. And what's with the floating lock? <laughs> oh, I'm surprised to take sticking us this long to get a glitch in the darkness. This game is pretty glitchy at times. So yeah, um, I brought that up in case all of you forgot. We had to get the Dutch Oven Harry's, which in a sec in an area where you're being hunted by a helicopter and a bunch of cops, sometimes it's hard to remember what you're doing. This was me trying to see if I could go to the uh, subway, but you can't. Also, something very useful with the, the consuming of hearts. I'm going to stop showing as many heart consumptions because um, they're very useful in these big combat sections where there's a ton of light because it instantly restores your darkness uh, meter, which you'll see there lit up. There's one that you'll see in a little later where I consume a heart and I mean it goes whoop right up, which is very useful. But I think we're kinda done with uh this little combat section here. Which is nice because it's brutal. Look at 
Look at that darkest meter go down from being in the sun. Sorry, being in the streetlights. Uh, when I eventually do the sequel, uh, the being in the light is much more brutal. You actually can barely see. It kind of sucks. But I'm getting ahead of myself, an entire game ahead of myself. I think this is the one I'm talking about. So here we go. We're, we're here. We had to get through this gate. Let's, uh, let's shoot it. It's an invisible shotgun. No, we're just too close. Yeah, we actually can't destroy this gate this way. Now, I usually don't make fun of this game for having poor game design choices, but this is really bad. Yeah. What they really should have done is taken care of that, uh... Dumpster. Forgot what that was for a second. That's sad. Taking care of that dumpster so you could just walk straight through, but they didn't, which kind of sucks. Oops. There we go. You see what I mean? Right here, and... Whoop, full darkness, even when I'm standing in full light. So that's why during these combat sections, um... Consuming hearts while you're doing them is fairly useful, but I'm gonna try to cut down on it because the one heart consumption I've been waiting for I finally get in this video. Listen, the best way to my Uncle Paulie's heart is through his rib cage with a meat cleaver. Failing that, you screw up his distribution and let the Chicago people collect on him. Now, I've been all over town picking up Paulie's drug money from his street peddlers. But I've never been to Dutch Oven Harry's. That's probably one of my favorite of those uh, loading screen cutscenes. I love that one. Just the meat cleaver part is amazing. But now we're in a pool hall with some really creepy ambient dialogue. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? Okay. Hypothetically speaking, right? Would a moose have sex with me if I gave it $10 million? Well, that's a lot of money. So. Yeah, let's leave before that conversation gets even creepier. Once again, more awesome uh, graffiti. I love the graffiti in this game. So now we have to talk to this hobo here to progress because reasons. Hey, hey, hey! W w what say you slip me a couple of bucks, hey? Huh? I gotta take a train. Say, you got any liquor on you? Sorry, pal. I'm dry. Hey, you know Dutch Oven Harry? Oh, you, you want to get wired up? <laughs> you go by the side door and tell them old Matty Forehand sent you. If they ask, you say, hit me. And then they bring the really good shit. No, no, no. Now, you make sure not to point any guns in their general direction. Now, I don't want to get caught in a crossfire. Yeah. Also, there is another one of the Darkling collectibles in this area that I completely forgot about when I was playing, but luckily this game, you can re-explore areas, so uh, we'll, I'll show it off in a later video. Night is your master. I guess since the darkness hasn't talked to us in a while, it decided to give us another incredibly random thing to tell us. Whatever. What's the password? Hit me. I gotta see Dutch Oven Harry. Come on in. Harry ain't around. You want something? Talk to Roach. Yeah, let's go deal with this area. Now, that's a f another fuse box right in front of us that... We'll probably be destroying a little later. Bobby, Harry wants you to do the clean run tonight. Fucking crazy. And more public domain television with Flash Gordon. Sweet. We'll watch some of that shit later. And he's like, bam, bam, bam. Let's go talk to Roach, though. You tell me. Hey, get a move on it, huh, pal? I got a hot day tonight with a couple of Gino's girls. I got everything. What do you need? I need Harry. Where is he? You got some nerve, kid. Hey, Roach. What's up, Harry? Just got a call from the boss. Someone's coming to pay us a visit. Oh. 
He's already here. Harry, you want me to bring out the hard liquor? Christ. Okay, Roach, you do that. I'm sure he needs a sh ah! And you want to shoot him right away because he pumps you full of uh, bullets if you're not careful. And also, you really do want to immediately make this area dark because fighting in this hallway, forcing all the enemies in here is very useful. So you want to do that. Also, there's dudes with shotguns, and their shotguns are better than your shotguns, so you want to kill them very quickly. There's a new gun, it's machine pistols, which we will be using in a little bit. Let's collect some guns before we do that. But yeah, the machine pistols are very good weapons, probably um, the second best in the game, because they're a about as accurate as your pistols, but lot, you know, a much higher fire rate. So they're very useful. But let's go do this, and I kind of mess up the recording, and I'll talk about it later. They're probably wondering who is this. Well, Roach took the evening off. I'm the new guy. Now, the reason why that section was lit and from a different recording is because this guy here that appears, depending on where all the enemies are placed, he'll start He's yelling. And during that uh, take, he started yelling a lot. So I actually had to uh, take it from a different uh, attempt at this level. So yeah, so that's why it's a little bit of a cut there. And I'll have the other thing that you can tell uh, Harry at the end of the video. Now this section here isn't fun. Um, this game, since it's a little older, and I found this with a lot of the first and second games in this generation, where they're really bad with checkpoints. Uh, like Mass Effect was really bad with checkpoints, and this game is really bad with checkpoints. Um, that beginning of us going down into that area up until here is still the same quote unquote checkpoint. So if you die to this guy, you gotta do that whole section over. And yeah, I was getting tired of doing that. So I'm just throwing everything I got at this guy to kill him because that fire escape is apparently amazing cover, except for now I get really lucky and his head appears. So good job, I hate that guy. And that pause was just a sigh of relief because I don't have to do that section again. You can see the machine pistols are very, very useful. And this I've been waiting for. I think that's the last uh, heart animation that we haven't seen. I think there's maybe one later on that we haven't seen, but for now, that's the last one. That we're, That's new, I believe. <laughs> So shooting, making sure you guys could see that without like Jackie bumping around completely <laughs> by darkness. So this fight's a lot harder than it should be. Yep, no darkness. You can see what I mean. These guns are just as um, accurate as the pistols. And they put out some decent rate of fire and some decent damage. And uh, fairly later on in the game, like, everyone's going to have them. So they're, we're going to have tons of ammo for them. And we can't destroy this light. Red vision for life. Oh, oh hi. Now this guy, this guy here doesn't want to die. This guy's amazing. Also, that light didn't want to die either. Probably should have eaten that hard, but... Now, this is how useless the shotgun is. There we go! That was ridiculous. It should not take a Spaz-12 that many rounds to uh, kill someone from across the room. Fuck you, buddy.
Hey, look, more guns in here. We definitely need the pistols. Now, something I've been waiting for is right in this room. This is what Jackie looks like right now. So yeah, that's what Jackie looks like with the darkness. Glowing eyes and all. Also, this is one of the right here's one of my favorite reactions. Jesus Christ! One of the more natural reactions of seeing a dude with angry tentacles coming out of the back of him with guns. Watch out! Show no mercy. I don't think I've been showing any mercy at all there, Darkness. Ah. Only got one. Yeah, we're really low on ammo here, so. Pistols! Once again, those animations are pretty fantastic. 41 hearts, nothing too bad. I don't tend to use the creeping dark combat like this, but since I had the perfect amount of distraction there with our with our darkling there and uh, a lot of cover and darkness too, it's really useful to do it there. Oh, you just wanted a piece of the heart. So he pissed on one and then threw another across the room. It's your Darkling for you. We're pretty well stocked. Cool. Once again, be prepping a room that I don't need to prep. Whatever. This one is evil. Oh, I am holy! Blow up the orphan! And train. Let's see his heart. And now we have our first upgrade. We have a new Darkling, which has a minigun, and he's very useful. We could have really used him in the section against the cops, but whatever. By the way, this section could be a bastard, because if you're not paying attention, you can get hit by that train, because it goes farther than you expect it to. Yeah. Poor Gunner. But we'll see him again later. But uh, we got a few little things to hear, and that's going to do it for us in this episode. Hey, burn, Jackie. All of the little ones. Such delicate torture of the body and soul. Sure, Harry. Take it easy. I killed them myself. Hey,